this would people grief. I think it's just way easier for the system to detect. It's basically automated anyway. Yep, yeah, punished only gets a mute. I mean, it's still good enough. They get like a mute or a weak ban. That stuff adds up because they eventually get punished enough to where they just end up losing for the comp season. They're not allowed to play anymore. A pretty good number, and I haven't gotten a single email. Rip dude. Well, they actually have to be like throwing and stuff. You can't just port someone because they're picking something they don't normally play. They have to actually actively be throwing a bit. Which is generally pretty hard. If somebody could play something like Hanzo they never played before, that's still trying, that's still loud, that's not bannable. But if they play something like, uh, I don't know, Bastion, they sit in their spawn and they start walking around. Funny seeing you here. Oh, Jinx, you queued in the right time, baby. You are ready for the tilters, Jinx. I put them for real fences, yeah. I don't know then, man. Are you still worried, sweet, till you die from sleep deprivation? What do you mean? Are you fall asleep to the sweet smell of sake, alright? Blue dove off the mat. In all match, never got an email. Well, the thing is, you guys are going against people that are, uh... They're doing that for, like, one game out of the hundred they play. And you're getting a bunch of new people that throw. In GM, you're getting people that are constantly throwing everyone's games. So eventually that adds up a little bit. Cookie dough. <laughs> Practice tournament custom game for 10 hours a day. Cookie, please. But like, when it comes to GM, if somebody's throwing... They tend to be really tilted and they're playing against the same people over and over again. So they're just racking up reports. You're just playing against a lot of different people who are throwing. We're playing against a lot of the same people who are throwing, if that makes any sense. Oh my god. I probably should just, uh, stay in the window or something. That's what there's up top. Get a lot of people throwing up, and now I can get a bandit. Yeah, you could just record your games, too. If you're that worried. You'd record a bunch of your games all day. Stop, gum. Ah, you got a pizza hug. Okay, she's out of here. Just dipped. I'm gonna take my armor then. That's my armor. No one else's. I get at least five recruits. Should I complain to Blizzard about this? Yes, of course, Cookie. Oh my god, how did none of those shots hit? He was right there, dude. Oh, well, I think I fired too right, too uh, far to the right of him. You have to be a house game. It's pretty horrible. Pretty horrible. This music is so mystical. Oh, we lost our teleporter too. That is pretty bad. This shit talking in that turn. Fun. Watch Poo Poo game, but mods be frying and say something worse. I'll be honest here. Overwatch is a great game. Community is terrible though. I would rather. Oh shoot. Oh, never mind. Get out of here. Oh shoot. I thought I could get a core off. I didn't get woken up from the air shatter though. Cause apparently, you don't get woken up. You never stay woke, dude. There we go. Not bad. Uh, the mercy's gonna start resing people. I should probably kill the squishies then. That way she doesn't res like the Reinhardt again. Can you not? Oh, he's just backing up. That's so obnoxious. It's impossible to kill him like that. What is he doing? This trace is gonna be... Okay, yeah. I was gonna say she could stagger herself. Here, I'm gonna put this... Red day. Yeah, I just broke my record for sit-ups. Did 50 sit-ups with a 20 pound weight. Nice, dude. See, working out's good for you. You work out, you get swore. You capture the princess, you throw a shell on your back, and bam, now you're Bowser. Oh, I'm gonna die. 
Honestly, I feel like being like Bowser would be the life. Bowser's swole. He's got a kingdom. I mean, the only bad part is that he's a kidnapper. But, hey. He can look past that. He's got loads of money. Think about Bowser. Bowser's like... Perfect. There. Oh my god. They probably have res too, though. No! Oh my god, the Reinhardt can shoot through the shields. It's pretty bad. Importance is to build your turret facing the right direction. Zero importance. It doesn't matter where you build it. Or how you build it, I guess. What's he doing? Uh. I wanna get the soldier on high ground. No! They still got the Mercy pocketing him up there too. It's so hard to retake without ults. He's got Ran down. Ryan's so fun. Ryan is fun. You hold left click on people, and you just murder them, dude. Like, Reinhardt is non-stop fun as long as you have good healers. If you don't have good healers, it's not fun because you run in and die instantly. But, you do. It's great. Gonna fight with... Uh, I don't know who that is. Oh! Oh, you're censoring yourself. Oh, 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 I get it, I get it. I thought that was a person. <laughs> I thought that was a person. I didn't realize there was censoring. I've seen too little censoring. When you play around, you say any healing over two seconds. Yeah. I mean, if you just force your main healers to constantly heal you, you're pretty good, dude. You can live forever. And then you just melee people 24-7. It's great. Oh, they sending a leadist and med and overwatch. Yeah, why not just meet him and move on then? <laughs> why even fight? I can't get a forward turret, dude. Does this still count as a forward turret if it's in spawn? Probably does. You seem to want to put in some old dash clothes, carve myself a wood sword, but you're in the woods. <laughs> the search of fairy dust. Hold up now. What kind of fairy dust? Cookie? We talking like. We talking fantasy? You want to go on an adventure? Or are we talking like, you want to go into the woods and play Mario for a bit? <laughs> Why is Fairy Dust the first choice? I really wish you communicated as much as you bitch. Who's your favorite programming you stack? You mean programming stack? I'm like, a novice programmer. I don't know what that means, sorry dude. I'm just learning the basics in every college class, which is useless. And I'm not applying myself outside of college, so it's all useless. Oh, wow, Jinx. See, Jinx isn't gonna take you. I take you, because I don't care. Jinx don't care. Well, wait, I mean, technically. Okay, <laughs> technically, he does care. What are you fighting with a wooden sword? What are you fighting to get fairy dust with a wood sword? Oh my god, I can get pinned. Oh shoot! Sweet dude. Uh, not good actually. Reiner get res. No! I have car! Bye bye! Oh man, I probably shouldn't have there. Oh wait, they got a tally behind. Actually, I can get a good core off. They're probably gonna waste a lot of their tally though. It's right up here. Oh, let me reload real quick. I'm gonna throw this down. I think the tally's in the back. Or, I don't know where the tally is actually. Normally I put the tallies like, up there if I have to, but I don't know where they're coming from. I'll be one with the woods, of course. Oh shoot, Cookie. You really do wanna roleplay Mario. Wanna get yourself some one up mushrooms. Actually, aren't the 1-up mushrooms, like, poisonous? I'm going to see us for a couple years now, though. Yes. Arge. 
What you don't understand is, they don't teach you one continuous language and teach you the concepts after that. They teach you the basics of like four different lang- or like six different languages. That's essentially what the programming degree is. It's teaching you the same concepts over six different languages instead of extending forward with one. Because it's a general programming degree. So I've learned HTML, I've learned C++, I'm learning Visual Disgust, I'm learning Java, I've learned, uh, I think there's like one more, I can't remember or two, but uh, yeah, that's basically what happens, you don't actually, you have a coding pro- yes, you do have coding projects, but the farthest you ever get in these classes is like arrays and loops and stuff. The classes don't really go any farther than that. That, that's kind of how it works. So basically, if you actually want to learn programming, you have to do it on your own. But that's literally the farthest they go. They basically teach you, okay, you did everything, now learn about arrays and oh, classes that are up. If you want to learn more, take the other advanced course that isn't required for this degree while you take Visual Basic, which is literally not used in this day and age. Even in high school is C++. Why? What? Wiki++? What a language represents you great. Oh, jeez. I gotta see. Do you, do you wanna still go talk? Maybe that's why you're bringing me just a mushroom mix into the <laughs> Oh my god. What kind of off-brand Pokemon are we playing? I can't get him. Angular hype train then. What is Angular? I don't even learn stuff about like current events when it comes to programming. You basically just learn whatever old 80s book they got. Oh my god. Like how I'm just solo capping, no one cares. Come on, kill the ride! Oh, what?! I'm on the other side! How does that work? That does not make any sense. I'm on the other side of Reinhardt, jumping into him. A project that uses a single line of visual basic as a launch script. Oh, I'm learning SQL. That's a, that's the other one. But, uh... Shoot, I wish I could show you. I don't have a vi the uh, physical visual basic book, but... Visual basic is literally the most useless piece of garbage you will ever learn. The good thing is, the second part of the Visual Basic class, which is what I'm taking, goes more into databases, and database management, and database integration, than it does Visual Basic. So, that's pretty good. Java HTML single page web application framework is intended to provide idiots like me with CS job security. Nice! See, isn't everything uh, just coded in JavaScript nowadays? They're all coded, like, as web pages, kind of like Discord. Discord uses, what was it, Electron or Electro or something? Which is, like, uh, Node.js and some other thing. Pretty sure everything is, like, web pages now. There's very little when it comes to actual applications. JavaScript. JavaScript. Talking about JavaScript. Is there even a difference? There's, there's like a minor difference between Java and JavaScript anyway, right? Is Discord an Electron app? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Slack, VS Code, it's all Chromium wrappers. See, like, how many actual applications are out there that aren't, like, video games? Oh my god. What do you even use to, uh, code in Unity? I thought you used JavaScript to code in Unity, too. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't think you use Java to code in Unity. I know you use like C Sharp for Unreal Engine, but what is it for Unity? I thought it was some form of Java. Nudity. Unity. Very different. Okay, I can't get through. Hi. Now I can get through. But yeah, how are the games tonight? Pretty horrible, but uh, yeah. It's Overwatch anyway. I'm gonna back up, you stick a cargo, and I wasted core. 
Code and nudity. No, I'm not talking about being nude and coding, alright? We're talking about unity in Unreal Engine. I'm just gonna walk in. Similar between Java and JavaScript is the name, they are very different in practice. Psh. Learn one learn a ball, alright? That's basically what my teachers say anyway. One of my teachers basically is like, oh yeah, you learn how to debug, you can basically program in any language. It's probably true a little bit, but I feel like that's oversimplifying things. Is the C sharp JavaScript based dialect? It's not worth pursuing it. What? Why? Oh my god. Why? Lots of applications are made in Unity. Sorry about the uh, background noise, by the way. Oh man. What are they doing? They still got like one minute left. I'm probably gonna lose my turret actually. So we're gonna back up and take high ground real quick. C sharp, we use C sharp. Not Unreal. What? Arma lied to me. He told me that Unreal was C sharp. Think you code better clothed or unclothed? Probably clothed. Clothed, I'll be honest. Being unclothed is weird. You know, it's not it's not normal. I'm not a nudist. I feel like you gotta at least wear some boxers or something. The only time to be unclothed is... Oh shoot. Well, we're, we're PGs so we can't mention that. Oh no! I want core! Oh, that was a good one. I should probably aim a little bit higher when it comes to those Winstons though. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of damage by uh, missing the crits and going for the body shots. Spam right. Oh, wait, I have a lot of armor I can actually throw down. Oopsie. He's a never nude. What is a never nude? It was showering, yeah. It was showering the whole time. I couldn't say showering because we were peachy, but you already said it. You already it said it. Uh, now everybody is imagined naked. That, I mean. it, you know, how does that help, like, make you feel comfortable during, like, uh, presentations or whatever? How does imagining everyone naked make you feel comfortable whatsoever? That makes zero sense to me. You're just like, oh yeah, oh my god, look at Jim over there! What about those like, old fat men? You're just like, oh yeah, this is good, this is alright. <laughs> it's so messed up and weird. Like, how does that ever help you present anything whatsoever? Instant hitbox doesn't change his ult if I remember correctly. No, 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 but I'm aiming too low anyway, I think. Bowser Zero? Hey, I was talking about Bowser's earlier. How great of a character he is. Thank you Game's for subbing, dude. Fun. When we're not little bitches. <laughs> oh my god, Jinx. Thank you, Bowser. Thank you for subbing, man. Enjoy your emotes and thank you for the support, dude. Seriously, I appreciate it, dude. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to click that cookie. We are lucky they suck. Isn't that Silk Thread? <laughs> oh my god. I like dudes that make excuses for everything. Like, what? Oh. Oh my god. The magic track people make it all the time. Yeah, but like... Are, are you, you're, you're supposed to imagine the entire crowd is naked. Unreal Engine 4 is off blueprints, but they did come out with C-Sharp on this past summer, I believe, that you're for the Unity nerds. Ah, oh, shoot, I want to become a Unity nerd. Well, that's from Arrested Development. Oh, we're not allowed to? Okay, it's not like an actual nude video. You know, those are probably allowed on YouTube. We have four minutes, Cap. Hopefully we can do it. Oh my god. It takes so long to kill something like that. I need some cake. Bowser Jr. Yo, I love Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. is one of my favorite Nintendo characters. Straight up. Bowser Jr. is so cute, and he's got his little paintbrush and stuff. He's got his little clown car and all that. Legit, I would love Bowser Jr. to be, more, be in more games. They dis displayed Bowser Jr. so well in Rabbids. I watched all the cutscenes or whatever, and I watched people stream the game. And Bowser Jr.'s character is so nice! So awesome! He's like, oh, well, I got a, my popper. 
Oh shoot, man. I don't want to tell him. You guys gotta help me out. My papa's gonna be real mad. He's gonna be real mad here. Those underwear. Not in view. <laughs> Imagine people dabbing not being naked. Oh god. That's probably Arge. Arge probably just imagines everybody dabbing whenever he's nervous. That's why he spams his dab emotes all the time. That's his true nature. He's the nature of the dabber. Jungle Inferno gonna pull you back to TF2? No. No, no, no. I'm not a big fan of Pyro. The Jungle Inferno thing looks cool. It's just a bunch of new maps, though. I think the TF2 gameplay is still not, like, good compared to Overwatch. And I already, I'm already i already playing Overwatch. I'm not gonna go back to TF2. TF2, I played a lot for the custom servers. Anyway, which doesn't really get affected too much. Custom servers aren't really affected that much by the update, right? Also, TF2 started giving me some really bad frame drops with all the new community maps. So, if they're not optimized, that's gonna be scary. Rabbi? Luigi was RA. Normal Luigi was amazing. Such a little bitch. Oh my god. 